How many of us truly like cauliflower? Well, I do, but I have a recipe here that will knock your socks off, even you cauliflower haters. It's called the Cauliflower Bomb. So stay tuned for this episode of Cooking with the Wolf Pack. All right, folks, we're back and we are here to make the cauliflower bomb. And I'm telling you, you don't want to skip this recipe because it is the bomb. Get it? Cauliflower bomb. Cauliflower bomb. It's the bomb. Okay, anyway. All right, you're going to take a head of cauliflower. And what I want you to do is flatten it on the bottom. So take the leaves off and flatten it, but leave it whole. Okay, so we're going to create a flat bottom because we're going to put this in a cast iron pan just like this. We're going to put a bunch of stuff on top of it. We're going to put it on the smoker outside. I got the Rectech fired up at 375. So you can do this in the oven, but we're going to add another layer of flavor by putting it on the Rectech at 375. So step one, chop off the bottom of your cauliflower, make it flat. Step two, I want you to parboil this for about 10 minutes, nine to 10 minutes. Parboiling means you're just partially boiling it. I'm, I'm not boiling it, so it's going to be eaten boiled. It's going to finish cooking on the Rectech or in the oven, but I want you to parboil it. So I want you to get some boiling water going here. I want you to take it the round side down, flat side up, so the water will get into this and soften it up. And I want you to just drop it in your boiling water right there, and you'll see it just kind of sink down a little bit. Don't forget to season your water. Every time you, you want to boil something, you want to put uh, some salt in there. So while that's boiling for 10 minutes, I'm just going to look at the clock here for 10 minutes. I'm going to make the cheese mixture that is going to go on top of this. It starts with some cream cheese. Now, the cool thing about this is I don't really measure anything out. I can give you some numbers, but it's okay if you get a little bit less or a little bit more. We're going to use about a half a cup of cream cheese. Now, I've got whipped cream cheese here. If you've got a block of cream cheese, you can use that too. But cream cheese is an important element because it kind of binds everything together. Then, because you know how, we're, how healthy we are here at Cooking with the Wolf Pack, and we're making this for the First Lady of the Wolf Pack, we're gonna, you can use mayonnaise, about a half a cup of mayonnaise, but I'm going to use half a cup of Greek plain yogurt. So I, would, I like the taste of the yogurt better uh, than the mayonnaise in this dish, so I would prefer you to use the plain Greek yogurt. All right, you're going to take some Parmesan cheese. Again, I don't know how much, maybe a quarter of a cup, and then some sharp cheddar, not medium cheddar. I want sharp cheddar, yellow sharp cheddar. I'm going to use about, I don't know, a cup, something like that, and then you're going to mix all of this together. Now, it's going to be thick. It's going to kind of form a, a ball, like a wad of cheesy goodness. And that's okay. That's what we're shooting for. Because this is going to kind of plop right on top of your cauliflower. And when it goes out on the smoker in the oven, it's just going to melt down around the cauliflower and encapsulate the cauliflower. I actually had somebody try this who doesn't like cauliflower at all and said he will always eat cauliflower now if it's prepared this way. So you can kind of see I've got a ball there. When you when we get to the next step, you're going to see I'm actually going to pick that up and plop it down right on top of the cauliflower. So we got about eight more minutes, seven and a half more minutes left on the cauliflower parboiling. When we get that out, we're going to take it out. We're going to drain it, dry it off, and we'll be back to share the next steps. All right, so we've got our cauliflower out of the boiling water. It's parboiled. I had it in there for 10 minutes. It's perfect. Now we want to just dry it off a little bit. I just got got a kind of a uh, one of my barbecue towels here, just kind of patting it dry. Don't, don't scrub it or nothing. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to, I've got it on a plate here. I want you to turn it over like that. Oh, you see, we lost a piece. That's okay. We're going to take some seasoning and put it on the bottom here. So there's flavor throughout. I've got a little bit of Hotty Toddy 38 Special, 
just a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want a ton. I, I, this is not a. This is not a heavy, heavy barbecuey kind of thing. But these flavors are great. And then this is the uh, all queued up sweet thing rub that I'm, I've started using on just about everything I've got. But you put it on the bottom here so it soaks in. Now we're going to take our cast iron. We're going to put it like this, and we're going to flip her back over. And see how the cauliflower just nestles right in there. That is perfect. Now, we are going to take our little cheese ball wad. As I said, it's going to kind of be a ball of cheese. And we're going to put it right on top and just kind of, kind of make a little hat. Like right on top of this guy. Just like that. And what's going to happen is, when we cook this, it's going to melt down the sides of the cauliflower and you're going to eat it right out of the cast iron. You're going to just take a fork and you're going to scoop it right out of the cast iron. This thing is so good. Now, once you take a little bit of your sweet thing, put it on the top here very lightly. Once you take a little bit of your 38 special, hotty toddy 38 special, I want you to put a little bit of that on the top. Not heavy, just a light coating. And that's what we're going to put in the smoker. 375, 20 minutes. If you want to put it in the oven, knock yourself out. You can do that too. We're just going to put it in the smoker for a little bit extra flavor. And we're going to come back in 20 minutes and we're going to surprise the First Lady of the Wolf Pack with the cauliflower bomb. So stay tuned. Hey, Wolf Pack fans. I'm sitting at the dinner table waiting for John. He said for me to sit down and wait because he's got a big surprise. Hey, hey you ready? ready? Yeah. I made a cauliflower bomb. Mm. Look at this thing. Look at that. Do you remember this? Of course I remember this. I think it was Atlanta, right? Yes. Was it Atlanta? Yes, it I was at it was the university. Atlanta. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. So you can see how the cauliflower like melt I mean the cheese like melts down the cauliflower. And the cool thing about this is it's got a crispy crust around it. I know, it's cheese. a crispy crust of cheese. Which is better okay. Better than the cauliflower. But this is a family style thing. So you can put it in front of the table. And we've got I made meatloaf tonight, but that's the secondary to this. <laughs> you can just dig in right here. Mm. You're kind of playing with your food. And it is so delicious. I want you to take a bite of that. Okay. It That's going like, to be hot. It's going to be hot because I see Just how came off the smoker. Here. It's got, oh my goodness. Right? What do we got here? Somebody told me when they tasted this, it almost tasted like cheesy mashed potatoes. Yeah. So. Look how hot that is. Look at that hot. Yeah. Don't burn yourself. I wait for myself. I know. But it, it just like mm. drips off. It just like peels off. It's like, I mean, it's just. It's already better than the restaurant in Atlanta because the minute it went in my mouth, there was that smokiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it on the you smoker. put it on the smoker, didn't you? Again, you can do it in the oh oven, three seventy-five. But if you twenty minutes on the smoker, three seventy-five is all it took. And I put some uh, hotty toddy thirty-eight special yeah, and a little bit all queued up sweet thing on the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, you can mm -hmm. have you can have the meatloaf. I'll just it's so finish my tender. Dinner. It's really good. Because remember, we parboiled it. Now we put it on the smoker. You, you taste it's that not, smoky. It's not yeah. it's not overly smoked. But you taste that subtle smoke. So I don't think we're going to get Lori to say much else in this episode because she's going to be feeding her face. But next time, cauliflower, whether you like it or not. It's not cauliflower. I love cauliflower. I love all vegetables, but it's not one of my favorites because it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Cauliflower by itself. It also falls in the fart family, I like to call it. It smells like farts kind of sometimes, like Brussels sprouts, especially if you just like boil it. You don't think it's in the fart family? I don't know of a fart family, but it's... Cabbage kind of smells yeah, farty okay. and Brussels sprouts kind of smells farty. Cauliflower's kind of farty Meaning smell. that they're good for you. Probably so. <laughs> so, fear not... Dear Wolfpack friends, if you There's don't like food. cauliflower, I want you to try this. Yeah. And I, I I, challenge you to say you didn't like it because I promise you, you're going to like this. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. 
As Lori, First Lady of the Wolfpack, continues to feed her face, John Bolton signing off, cooking with the Wolfpack. Until next time, America and beyond. Ow!